Good morning, Zio here, and today we are talking about Hogwarts Legacy for the next few days, mainly because I ain't got a lot of time, and uh, my little one is not feeling that well, so I need to go tend to him, and uh, right now he's sleeping, he's fine, uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy for the next two days because it's fresh on my mind and it's already up, so grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get into it, shall we? So, the reviews are in. Hogwarts Legacy has finally been reviewed, and it is horrible. Well, horribly funny. You know what? It's not even horribly funny. Gosh, I'm going to try and clickbait this title anyway with that. And, uh, yeah, you'll just have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Anyhow. <laughs> now, but seriously, the reviews are in, and it's not player reviews. It is the critic reviews, and we know how critics are, right? The rule of thumb is critics love it. Chances are the players are going to hate it. However, we have started to see this trend in the other direction where critics and players are starting to realign when it comes to what is good and what isn't, right? Because critics usually like this weird, they're weird with, with their likes compared to the actual public. Uh, anyway, as you can see right here, the game is due to release in 15 hours, 33 minutes, and 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14 uh, seconds. Anyway, yeah, it's now wrong again. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it's due to come out soon. It's going to be less than 24 hours, and we're going to have our hands on Hogwarts Legacy, or for those of you who actually have ordered this, are going to have their hands on Hogwarts Legacy. It's coming soon. Anyway, so these are the reviews. These are the Metacritic reviews right now by uh, the critics, and I am very surprised at what I'm seeing. We're looking at an 86 overall right now for the PS5 version um, from 42 different critics. And then if we come on over here, to uh, the PC, we've got ourselves an 83, respectable 83 based on eight critics. And for the Xbox Series X for 13, we've got 89 critics. Now, uh, 89 critics, 89, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought it was kind of interesting because I was like, wait a second, really? We, we, wait, are we actually reviewing a game and reviewing it? Because usually it doesn't get an actual review, right? Uh, a lot of times these critics, they will review a game and it's insert X political thing here. It has it, therefore it's a 100 or whatever it is, or it's really high and this, that, and the other. And I absolutely love just walking from spot to spot because walking simulators are fantastically because they're easy and blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Should have got before I started this, but yeah, and uh, that's it's not what we're getting. We're we're getting some actual things. I mean, this here is the highest review among all the different things. It's from IGN Portugal of all things, which you know generally IGN Portugal is usually going to give you an actual actual review, right? It's the places that usually come out of the US or the EU or something like that that don't give you an actual review because, you know, X person is somebody I don't like for whatever reason. Therefore, this game is automatically bad and let me spend my entire review explaining why you shouldn't play this because I don't like this person because of their political views, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's usually how it goes, right? But, you know, you can usually look at, say, IGM Portugal for an actual review when it comes to these things. They did give it a 100 masterpiece. Um, words that I can't say. Uh, magnum opus. It is a world with a... Uh, broad meaning um, whose origins are not well defined. It may be... <laughs> an apprentice for... Uh, a, the, the first note, noteworthy week. First work, I, I can't read that, never mind. You know what, I'm just gonna not read. You can go ahead and read it yourself at some point. 
because <laughs> we know I'm incapable of actually reading. They did not teach me to read when I was younger. I'm dyslexic, all that good jazz. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm. But yeah, let's see. You can get Hogwarts Legacy is I want more. I want more of this world. I want to see other universes I enjoy like Star Wars and Dune get this kind of treatment. Rarely does an RPG manage to remain not fresh, expansive, and frankly surprised me from the start to finish. Uh, by Avalanche Software did. Hats off, but uh, not the sorting hat. I'm already uh, starting a new save. So, you know, they, they quite enjoyed it. And as you, you can go down here, you've got Terra Gamer giving it a 95. And then the rest are giving it around a 90. Now, this is the interesting part is when you get to the other things and actually get to more rev reviewers that you normally would see, right? Um, they, they all give it a 90. They don't give it like a 100 or anything. And then you got Games Radar down here with a 70. Hogwarts Legacy is a solid first attempt. If Avalanche uh, can be accused of anything, it's that the studio has tried to do too much all at once. Something was always going to give between the massive open world and the messy RPG economy. Uh, exciting action combat and adventure story that wants to cast you as a hero with homework due on Monday, but you can see a world in which a sequel uh, sands down some of the rougher edges and settings into a finer balance between the demand of an interactive experience and the lore of the Wizarding World, which yeah, that's an actually interesting one right there. Let's, let's take a look at the others. Well, actually, you know what? Let's, let's take a look at the others real quick. So we've got over here, this is the uh, PC review and we've got Games Blog, XGN, IGN. See, these, these are the people that you normally see the reviews from, right? These are the ones that I honestly was expecting to see very low ball uh, reviews just because of one particular thing. I'm not going to mention it right now or in this video because personally it's not pertinent to anything. Um, in fact, tomorrow's video is going to be railing about people who... Anyway, it's going to be railing about that. But, let's see, they gave it a 90. Now, I haven't played this game. I don't know what to expect from it, but from what I have seen, uh, from what's been released video-wise and stuff, it looks like it's going to be a fantastic game. For a Harry Potter game, I, I'm sure I've said this before, that you, you hear Harry Potter and game it coming out of somebody's mouth and you're just like rolling your eyes like, okay, fine, whatever. Like I'm going to touch that because usually these games are movie adaptations of some kind. They're not that great. They're sloppily thrown together. Um, if you like a really, really, really huge fan of the movie, maybe it's good for you. But outside of that, they're just... They're not good on their own, but this one looks like it is a really, really good open world RPG style game set in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, which for any Harry Potter fan who also games, this is like the, the, the thing, right? This is your holy grail, essentially, of, of gaming for anyone who is a huge Harry Potter Harry Potter, Harry Potter fan, and has always wanted a good Harry Potter game, right? This looks like it is that. But anyway, let's see. Uh, IGN, I, uh, in nearly every way, Hogwarts Legacy is Harry Potter's RPG. I've always wanted to play. Its open world adventure captures all excitement and wonder of the Wizarding World with its memorable new characters, challenges, and nuanced combat. And I wonderfully execute yeah. and they wonderfully executed Hogwarts student fantasy that kept me glued to my controller for dozens of hours. It's certainly weighed down by technical issues, a lackluster main story, and some poor enemy variety, but even those couldn't come close to breaking its enchanting spell over me. So there we go. We we've got it may have a lack it's got a lackluster story, some technical issues, it seems. All right, and you know, enemy variety is not exactly as what they would want, but yeah, 
that seems to be it. Like these, these are the reviews. Let, let's look for one of the worst ones, right? Um, let's see, mixed 70, 60 here. All right, the lowest score is a 60. <laughs> Because over here on the PC, there are no mixed reviews right now. We've got 13 positive reviews, and they are all pretty much... Let's, let's take a look here. Is 80 the lowest? 80 is the lowest, which is Game uh, Reactor UK, which I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah. Let's see. I can easily recommend this to all Harry Potter fans, and even those... Yeah, I'm actually surprised they aren't bringing in that particular thing, because that's exactly what I was expecting, right? This game is trash because of a person. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's take a look at this last one, and then we'll call it quits for the morning, right? Hogwarts Legacy is a uh, fan and uh, is a fun and managed to get a lot of things right, but it already feels somewhat dated. No doubt a hangover from the six-year development cycle. It's a stunning way to impress Hogwarts and the surrounding area, and is possibly the best representation for fans for the universe, regardless of the medium. Honestly, this is an exceptional piece of fan service and a loving recreation that for performance reasons and dated reasons doesn't quite come together okay so in other words it's dated <laughs> in progress and unscored oh, okay i didn't even see this here when i looked at stuff um yeah pc gamer here it's rare to get a licensed blockbuster game like this <laughs> exactly um but yeah so that's it. The scores are in, uh, or they're rolling in. It looks like even the critics are enjoying this game, which is rare to see. Uh, uh, seems like, according to the critics, it's got some technical issues. It might seem a bit dated because, you know, it's been in a six-year development cycle. And um, outside of that, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of issues with this particular game, and I'm surprised they're not bringing because of a person or anything else like that. So, there we go. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See ya.